Hi, I'm Jim Pence with See the Light, and here's another in our series of six more super short art tips. Have you ever been working on a, a painting or a drawing and you want to uh, maybe put in some fine detail? Like I've got a, a little bit of fine detail in, in this picture that I'm working on. It's not going to show up as well on the video, but um, if you're working particularly in, in oils, uh, or watercolors and uh, in this case it's pastels but you don't want to have your hand shake while you're doing uh, the detail work and you also don't want to get your uh, get your hand in the paper uh, how do you uh, avoid doing that well there are a lot of different ways but one is uh, by using what is called a mall stick and uh, now my instructor back when I was taking oil painting classes uh, he actually called it a granny stick and I, I kinda like that term uh, I'm not a granny I'm a grandpa but uh, I know that the older I get uh, the shakier my hands are and uh, so uh, a granny stick or a mall stick is simply a uh, long stick uh, with uh, sort of a ball on one end uh, and it's actually that ball is is cushioned so uh, you know it's actually going to look more like that there we go uh, so we've got a nice soft end usually it's leather uh, that's on the end here uh, but that is the end that is going to go on or close to the paper or the canvas and you're going to hold on to the other end of it and then you're going to rest your hand right there so if now this is actually again this is a pastel but uh, if I if I had like a fine pencil let me use the other end of the the brush here and I wanted to you know put in some really fine detail but I wanted to have a very steady hand then I use my mall stick to rest my hand on and it does two things it keeps my hand out of the paint uh, out of the painting uh, and it also just gives me a really steady surface so that my hand doesn't tremble or shake this is really good if you're using a standing easel uh, but it works quite well uh, with a situation like this where I've got a piece of paper lying down and or lying flat and and I just want to come in and add some detail uh, I made this small stick myself many many years ago and uh, there's really not too much to it I took two pieces of dowel rod uh, just uh, one uh, long piece that was the main stick and then I took another larger uh, diameter dowel rod drilled a hole in it and uh, fit the uh, other rod in and glued it and uh, actually this I've had this one so many years it it broke a while back and I've got it wrapped up with uh, gaffer tape but um, to create the uh, the soft leathery end I took two pieces of artificial chamois and cut them and then I just use a, a rubber band you could tie a piece of yarn around it or whatever but the idea is just to hold it on so I just use a rubber band doesn't look very doesn't look very fancy but it gets the job done and uh, there I have my mall stick that I can rest my hand on and uh, I can do a lot better detail not have as many of the shakes and also keep my hand out of the painting so uh, if you're need a, needing a steady hand then uh, get yourself a granny stick or a mall stick and uh, then have some fun that's all for today. I'll be back uh, with another tip uh, next time.